Personal Finance 101. Savings Account Interest. Alashmuk. Even if, if you don't put your money in the market, let's say I you know, have my $100 and I put it in a savings account, um, I'm getting some tiny amount of interest on it. What is happening that is allowing the bank to just give me money for doing nothing? Got it. So let's say you put in uh, $1,000 in, a, in a, a savings account. And for that illiquidity, for your promise essentially of leaving that $1,000 with the bank for a pretty long period of time, they will give you a little more interest, like say it's 1% a year, meaning they're only paying you $10 a year for that thousand bucks that you've given them. Um, but at least it's something, I guess. Um, what they will do is they'll turn around and put that thousand dollars in a pool with lots of other monies that they'll loan out to things like mortgages or other credit loans or other risk management things for insurance companies and so on but they will typically take your money and loan it out at 6%. So they're paying you 1%. They probably have 1% costs that they have to process it and send you the paper every month. So their cost is 2% on that $1,000, but they're getting 6%. So they make a 4% spread or $40 a year profit to the bank, gross profit, because uh, they have to advertise and do a lot of legal compliance and other things to make everything work out. So when I put my $1,000 in the bank, I'm loaning $1,000 to the bank. That's exactly right. And you're, it's not really even to the bank. Think of the bank as a broker in between. You're giving it to the bank, who will then quickly go and find someone else who wants to borrow money, and they'll get that money in their hands. And it's why you see banks advertising so aggressively. Hey, get your mortgage here. Get a credit line here. Get a second mortgage here. Get this and that credit product. Um, they make a lot of money selling money. Why do banks give me money for investing in a savings account? 